This is probably one of the biggest problems you will ever run into when installing stairs. Figuring the rise, individual rise, and laying out the stair stringer. And that, of course, would be installing stair stringers that create treads or steps that are not level by simple math errors. So let's go ahead and talk about the first problem you're going to run into when you figure the individual riser height. And this is common. I've seen it happen uh, plenty of times. It's even happened to me before. The distance between floors is known as the total rise. So top of the floor, top of finished floor to top of finished floor is going to be your total rise. The number of risers, if you in this case we have 15 risers, divides into the total rise. And this gives us our individual rise. Now this is where the problem usually gets bad. And, and this is the, probably the biggest culprit of this. Let's say that I divided this number and it uh, gave me a 7.6 decimal. And this is going to be closer to 7 and 5 eighths than it is to 7 and a half inches. But I know a lot of people who have took that 7.6 and turned it into a 7.5, 7 and a half inches because that's a number they're more familiar with. So I actually have talked to people before that they would lay their stairways out in quarter of an inch increments, rarely went to eighth of an inch increments. And that created problems for the stair stringers and the stairway. So let's go ahead and uh, see if I can explain this a little better using the four examples here. This stair stringer is perfect. It blends into the top just fine. Uh, it has a seven and a half inch rise. And when, it, when cut and installed perfectly, is going to give us a nice stairway. This one over here provides us with a stair stringer that has a 1 16th of an inch difference in each uh, riser. So instead of having seven, seven and a half inch risers, we have seven and seven sixteenths inch risers. This is seven and three eighths, and this is seven and a quarter. The stair stringers here have been installed perfectly level to provide us with a variation at the top. See the variation here, which is going to help us with our example. This one here blends in perfect. This one here is 15 sixteenths lower. Remember, 1 16th of an inch per riser. 15 risers is going to give us 15 sixteenths of an inch offset. This one here is an inch and seven eighths, and the inch, the seven and a quarter inch rise gives us seven three and three quarters. And this is the one we're going to focus on in our example to make my point. Now, most stair stringers are not going to be installed to their perfect level height because it might not work for the building. But this is actually what happens if you take a stair stringer. This one over here, remember, is installed perfectly. Seven and a half inch risers. This is seven and a quarter inch. And you can see that we raised it up. It is no longer three and three quarter inches lower where each tread would be level. And this is normally what we do. We, we figure our, our rise. We use it to lay out our stair stringers. We cut our stair stringer. We install the stair stringer where we think it should go. It's perfect. Yeah, this has got to blend in the top here without ever checking to see if, if the steps are level. And you sometimes your first clue is going to be if there are any gaps between the level floor and the bottom of the stair stringer. No gaps usually means that each step is going to be perfect, parallel with the floor. Any gaps at the top, and when I say gaps, I'm not talking about a, a gap, a solid gap. I'm talking about where it's tight at the top and there's a gap at the bottom, or it's tight at the bottom and there's a gap at the top, like we have over here. So here we, here's a perfect example. The stair stringer has is tight at the bottom and there's a gap at the top. This is going to be your first clue that there's a problem. 
problem that the building is out of level or, or that the stair stringer has been cut incorrectly. I've actually seen this before where the floors have been out of whack and the stair stringers have been cut fine and you actually have a gap. So having the gap just tells you that there's probably a problem somewhere. This is going to be your first clue, something you're going to need to remember as a stair builder, especially those who build stairs consistently like I did for years. So gaps mean to check. Check, put a level on the stringer, and it's not a bad idea to grab a level, cut your stair stringer, um, install it temporarily, maybe put a couple of screws in to hold it in place, grab a level, and then check it. And if it's, if it's uh, fine, the, lev the bubble's great, um, everything's nice, then you can install the stairway. So that's my tip of the day for anyone who's planning on building stairs. First thing you're going to need to do is figure the riser height correctly. Um, convert the decimals correctly. Uh, next thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you lay out the stair stringers correctly. Any errors in the stair stringer. It's not uncommon to um, figure the riser height correctly, convert your decimals correctly, and then mess up while you're laying out the framing square. You've got to check everything and double check everything.